Now for step two. If you need help with part one, step one for lab one, 7.1.4.9, check out my other videos. When you were in grade school, you might have learned about something called a number line. With a number line, you showed a bunch of numbers in a row lined up one right after another. Let's look at a simple reminder of what that looked like. So our teachers would draw a line and they would put little dots on that line and each one of those dots would represent a number. So let's look at this number line. We'll say when we start counting at one and two and three give another number for four and five apologize for my handwriting here's six and there's seven and here's eight and nine and finally we'll do we'll stop this number line at 10. Okay so with the number line we see that all of our numbers line up and I could create a range of numbers and let's say our range is from 1 to 6. That means that every number between 1 and 6 are part of our range. So 1 and 2, 3, four, five, and six are included. In networking, our number line is huge. 4.3 billion numbers in IP version four and 103 undecillion numbers in IP version six. Oh my word. But we're gonna break that number line up into ranges that we call networks. These networks are just groups of devices and each device gets assigned one number in the range or our network. Okay, so how big is our group? The group size gets determined by our subnet mask. So in part two, we're going to determine where our group of numbers starts and we call that number our network address. We're going to determine where our network ends and we call that number the broadcast address. Those are two very special numbers that I'll talk about in a minute. And everything in between those two numbers, in between our network and our broadcast address, are the assignable addresses that I can actually assign to a computer or a port on a router or a switch or something like that. So as we look back at what the assignment's expecting of us, we're going to see that we're given an IP address we're given an IP address and prefix we're give, and we need to calculate what our first host address is, what our last host address is, and our broadcast address. Okay, so whenever we're given an IP address, the very first step that we have to do is we have to calculate our network address. After we calculate our network address, we're going to show you how to calculate your broadcast address. Once you have those two addresses, it is really easy to figure out what your first host and your last host are. So real quick, if I look at my number line with my just six little um, devices on this network, then if I was looking at these original, this group of six that I created first, then if I had, in networking we can't have a group of just six, um, so we would have to have had eight, but that's okay. Um, so in this group, we would say this first number, or the number one, 
was our network address. This number six, which is the last number in our group, is our broadcast address. And I said everything in between our first and our last are the numbers that we can use to, to assign to an actual device. So if I wanted to assign my first host address to a device, that first host address would be the number two, which is one larger than my network address. And if I wanted to assign a number to my, or a device to the last host address in my network, that would be number five, which is one under my broadcast address. And that is always, always, always going to be true. So the one above my network address is my first host. One under my broadcast address is my last host. And that's why we need to calculate our network address and our broadcast address as the first steps to this assignment. So let's take an IP address again and let's see how we're going to work this. All right, so this assignment, I am going to uh, pick the IP address. I'm going to call it 192.10.24.72. Okay. And I'm going to give this a subnet mask of 25. Okay, so this is my given information. Similar to in my assignment, I had this. So this would be my IP address and prefix. Okay. So first step is I need to take this slash 25 and br put it into its binary form, which means I needed to have 25 ones followed by enough zeros to fill it out to 32. So let's start that process. We're gonna say bit number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, second octet's done, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Third octet, oops, I counted too much. Let's try that again. 24, third octet's done, now 25. There we go, can't fill up too much of an octet. Okay, now that I've got my 25 ones, I'm going to place the rest of them as zeros. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, so that is our subnet mask. Now we need to calculate or convert our IP address into binary as well. So our 192 is 1100000000. One, one, zero, 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 zero. There's 192. 10 is 0000100. Zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero. Twenty four is zero 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 one one zero zero zero. All right. Now for our fourth octet. Fourth octet or seventy two is zero one zero zero one zero zero zero. Okay, so this is 192, 10, 24, 72. Okay, 
Now our first step is we had to figure out what our network address is. The network address we determine by anding our IP address and our subnet mask. So when I and again, if a 1 and a 1 is going to give me a 1. 1 and a 1 is 1. A 0 and a 1 is a 0. One more. All right. Next octet, 0 and a 1, 0 and a 1, 0 and a 1, 0 and a 1. 1 and a 1, 0 and a 1, 1 and a 1. 0 and a 1. Third octet, 0 and 1, 0 and 1, 0 and 1. 1 and 1, 1 and 1. 0 and 1, 0 and 1, 0 and 1. Fourth octet, got a 0 and a 1, a 1 and a 0, a 0 and a 0, a 0 and a 0, a 0 and a 0, and 0 and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So that's my fourth octet. If I take this IP address, then that's going to be 192 in my first octet. Convert my second octet back into binary or into decimal. I get a 10. My third octet, when I convert it back into decimal, I get a 24 still. And my fourth octet, when I convert it back into decimal, I get a zero. Okay, so that is my network address. Okay, to calculate out my broadcast address, that is the end of my range. The way that I do that is I use the host bits in my subnet mask to identify the same range of bits in my network address. And so I've got seven bits in my subnet mask that are host bits, zeros, right? And I've got seven bits in my network address that I have just identified as being the same seven bits. Okay, for your broadcast address, what you're going to do is every one of those bits, all seven of those bits in this particular case, because I had seven in my subnet mask. If I have eight in my subnet mask, it's eight bits. If I have 12, it's 12 bits. See the picture? So, seven bits in this particular subnet mask are host bits, zeros. I'm going to take those exact same seven placed bits, and I'm going to convert each one of those into a one, okay? So my new number that I'm going to have is that first bit still a zero, okay, because I'm not messing with that one, but every bit that is those seven bits, then those are the ones I'm converting into a one, okay? So those seven bits, there's six, there's seven. All right, those are the seven bits that I'm converting. Everything else, all of my network portion of my address, this part of my address, as indicated by the ones in my subnet mask, all of these bits in my network address are going to remain exactly the way that they were. So I'm going to say one, let me write this in a different color. Let's go with back to my black. One, one, zero, 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 zero. All right, that's that first octet. Second octet, third octet, and then in the fourth octet, that zero that we kept the same, 
needs to stay the same. Okay, so there's our four octets. Now we're going to convert this new number back into decimal. Still is all these parts that stayed the same. It's not a new number. Okay, so we still have 192, 10, 24. All right, the octets that were affected, and it might be one octet, it might be three octets, it might be all four octets that are affected by this portion of your broadcast or if your subnet mask that are the host portion then that octet is going to be different from your network address so now I'm going to convert this number back into decimal and that number is going to compute to be a 127 or 127 okay so this address is my broadcast address Ooh, see if I can spell. All right, so that broadcast address is what I'm going to put in right here. Okay, so with that broadcast address now known, and I know my network address, so I've got my network address, I've got my broadcast address. If you remember when I talked about my number line, one above my network address is my first host and one underneath my broadcast address is my last host now all I have to do is say okay what's my first host if my network address is 192.10.24.0 then my first host, one more than that, is going to be 192.10.24.1. And that's my first host. All right, my last host is one underneath my broadcast address. So if my broadcast address was 192.10.24.127, then my last host is going to be 192.10. 10.24.126 all right so if I put that on a number line again here's me a lump, nice long number line and my first or my network address the last octet was a zero and then my broadcast address the last octet was a hundred and twenty seven then my first host falls in line right there as a dot one and then we're going to have a lot of numbers in between there I'm not writing 0 to 127 sorry guys and then my last host is gonna fall way down here and it's the last part of it is going to be 126 or 1 underneath my broadcast and so that means every number from 0 to 126 so 1 2 3 4 5 and so on and so forth all the way down to 126 are the available host for me to assign an IP address to alright I hope you all enjoyed this video next video we're going to talk about part 2 step 1 hang tight